Hey, what's up guys? This is TMD Live in the building. This is actually an update video. I'm going to put this video out first on my edit to explain what happened in my unboxing video. And this is regarding the pilot. Now in my video, as I'm unboxing it, there was like a little uh, plastic bag that was empty. And when I unboxed it, of all, out of all the parts, I was like, well... I've got all the main stuff, you know, for the uh, Scout Flyer. The only thing that was missing was the pilot. Now, at the beginning of uh, the instruction book on the front page, it, it does list um, what you should get in the box. And I want to reassure people, it was my mistake. Um, the pilot is not included in this kit. So don't worry if you get this kit and the pilot's not there. I have an update as well, guys, that I'll mention at the end of this video and my explanation about the pilot. So obviously when you get the kit, um, the box uh, or the actual main cover has the pilot there. So, you know, my instinct was like, oh, okay, well... That, where's the pilot? You know, the pilot should come with it. Like with most kits, you get pilots um, with the kit, um, generally. But anyway, I mailed Kato-san yesterday, a.k.a. Rainbow Egg, and he's a very nice guy, very kind. And he actually messaged me very quickly, so hence why I, I couldn't put this video out um, yesterday. A big shout going out to Julian Harding as well, who mailed me. <laughs> I actually put a message in my Machining Krieger group about this <coughs> unboxing. Uh, anyway, to cut a long story short, uh, he mailed me back and explained to me that, um, yeah, Darren San, um, there isn't a pilot included in the kit. And it's basically um, a revised version that you have to customly build this pilot from Hazigawa parts, I think. And you have to mod it, and it has the uh, actual part numbers here, guys, if you can see there. Um, and then there's obviously, you have to like do some hacking and stuff like that to, to get the bends in the uh, pilot's legs. Um, so, to be, to be quite fair, uh, it's kind of annoying. I mean, you, you know, you, you have to go out and mod this pilot and spend extra money on it it's kind of a bit tiresome saying that uh, and also as well um you can have this kit um unmanned which is totally fine you know um you might want to get like i don't know some sight or heel mechanic figures or another figure from the machine and cougar range either site or heel love love garden or, or brickworks um you know you you can do whatever you want um but there are actually two variants <coughs> the unmanned one i forgot to mention this but i'll put these in the pictures can you see this here this is like the unmanned one. It has like this turret section, not like this top canopy section. I didn't really explain that in my unboxing. Um, so yeah, now to get around this pilot issue, I don't know if this is gonna work. I hope it does. Um, this is by Saito Hill. This is the Super Jerry Pilot Fighter. So I'm wondering if <coughs> this pilot would be sufficeable. Um, can you see here? I wonder if that would work. It would be kind of interesting to see if it, if this Love Love Garden Thing would work I mean looking at this I think it would work guys you know I think it would work 
So to get around the, the issue of not having the pilot uh, in the kit, um, you know, you can opt out and buy one of these pilots. Not cheap, by the way. It's like, I think it cost me 3,500 yen at Volks. Um, actually, on the back of this Love Love Garden, um, it does have some spec model length. 40 uh, sorry 50 millimeters model width 37.9 parts pieces six <clears throat> so depending on the pilot there's no spec here because i haven't measured it um actually uh let me have a look at the parts for the the seat ah there's the seat there guys I believe that's the seat. Is that part of the seat? It must be. Wait a second, let me double check. Uh, sorry about this video, guys, but it's kind of important, right? Because I, I have some big news about this as well. I will mention it after I've just done this. So you're going to probably see this again in the video, me unboxing it, but... I actually don't want to undo these bags because I don't want to lose parts and uh, there might be a chance of me reselling this at some point. Uh, yeah, so I, I don't know. I think I think the first bag that I showed on here is the seat. Where is it? Must be the seat. Um, so I haven't, like, measured the actual length, but I don't know, man, like... I presume that's part of the seat. Yeah, I think it is. You know, that together, that width. But that part there is uh, a curved part. Um, those are the side sections. Oh, is that it? Ah, is that it there? Oh, sorry. Sorry, I found it, guys. My bad. There's the seat. That would fucking work, man. That would work. Let me... Uh, I'm going to open this. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. Where's my knife? Let's do a test here and now, guys. This bag isn't so bad because, you know... There's not many parts in here. I don't like opening bags with lots of parts. So this is the seat, I presume, which goes like that. Let's get this pilot out. Let's see if his legs... Let's look at the angle. Uh, let me get my uh, cutters. This side. Right. Now let's see if. Let's see if these. This Love Love Garden. Will fit. And. It fits. Fucking perfectly guys. There's no problem with that fitting in there at all so to save you guys headache <laughs> um and trying to build this with different parts from a different styrene kit or whatever you can just go out and uh buy the super jerry pilot figure <laughs> which is like a lot less stress right oh no man but anyway, that's that's to that's to basically reassure people that the pilot is not in the kit. There are there is a method of you know getting this quick and easy solution by buying uh, 
Saito heels uh, Jerry Pilot, and you you're good to go, man. You know you don't have to mod all this shit and make it all separately. Um, but yeah, that's the end of that. So sorry, guys, for this video. There's going to be a lot of me going scratching my go. Where's the pilot? Where's the pilot in the in the video? But like I said, uh, I have some news for you guys. Now this is kind of a good thing that it happened because um, I went onto uh, Kato San's um, website. Um, I'll put the links in the description. Um, I was shocked. So for you guys out there that are watching and that people, you know, are interested in buying this kit, I have some very interesting news. And this is coincidental that I just randomly put this video out. I think there's actually no videos online on YouTube of this kit. I'm probably one of the first people to review it like this. Rainbow Egg is actually releasing this kit as we fucking speak right now. Uh, if you check his website, this kit was actually supposed to come out at the end of this month, but apparently he's having some uh, technical problems with the actual parts. So I don't know. I, I don't know if he's actually modded this kit. So I think the new kit that's going to be released is delayed. And I think he has slightly modified it, which means that there's going to be some improvements to it. And he basically said, I think, on his blog page that um, he wants to do a comparison of, like, the original kit to the new kit. Um, so I don't know what modifications he's done. Um, I don't know if it's, like, slightly improved in terms of the uh, aesthetics, the design. I don't know if he's actually improved the build quality. I don't know. But it's up there on his blog page that he's released it. I don't know if he's taking orders yet. Because um, I, I, didn't, I didn't see the order form. But um, if you DM him on Facebook or contact him via his email, I'm sure he'll, he'll get back to you. But like I said, not many people have this kit. I'm like one of a few. This is kind of crazy, right? Um and I, I obviously have the OG, the original kit. So I, I'm, in, I'm in two minds in selling this kit. I haven't decided what I'm going to do because I am short of cash at the moment, guys. And I just went through my back catalogue yesterday. And um, there's so much stuff that I bought, I've bought that I didn't know that I had that I'm going to let go, you know. I've got lots of modding upgrade parts. <coughs> there are kits there that I was like, holy shit, did I buy that? <laughs> God damn. But yeah, anyway. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Um, I just wanted to make that clear. So the pilot is not included in this old version of the kit. I don't know if the new version has the pilot. Um, but I just wanted to clarify that. And uh, like I said, big shout out to uh, Rainbow Lake, a.k.a. Uh, Kato-san. Thank you so much. And uh, enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for watching, TMD. Don't forget to uh, like, subscribe, share. Peace. Hey, what's up, guys? TMD live in the building. Coming at you with an unboxing, guys. Sorry I've been delayed with the uh, reviews of uh, all my model kits that I was planning to do. I've been sick for the last few weeks. We have a special kit here today, guys. It's the Machining Krieger series, uh, a kit by a guy called Rainbow Egg. Uh, if you guys know who Rainbow Egg is, I think it's uh, Kato San. He does like uh, kits for Koyokoyama, and this kit is called a Scout Flyer Prototype. And checking on scale mates, guys. Uh, I believe from the information that I saw that this was um, retooled in 2014, which makes sense because I think I got this kit around about that time when I went to Wonderfest. And I saw Kato San, he was in one of the halls selling his kits off. And I think this cost me, 
I don't know if it was like 25,000 yen. It's quite expensive. So it's like the silver 200 bucks. Um, I've never really seen this kit um, being repopped, so to speak, in the shops. Uh, so I was quite lucky in uh, acquiring this kit. And actually checking online, there doesn't seem to be a lot of people that have this kit. I mean, there's only a few examples that I've seen online, which I'll share in the uh, in this video. Anyway, without further ado, guys, uh, let's crack on. Uh, just comes in a normal cardboard box. Open this. And inside, you've got your instructions. Fairly well laid out. I think the person that um who did this kit, let me just check his name. I think he was called uh uh A1. That's his name, A1. And he he did quite a a good job on, on on his kit. Um he did it in more like a military green and greys instead of the red. The instructions seem pretty well laid out, pinning tool, uh, drill dimensions and whatnot, what tools to use, it's pretty clear, and oop. in the box guys, I think it's easy for me to do it like this, you get these photographs, which is pretty interesting, of the, of the final build it's a beautiful design it kind of reminds me of mad max that gyrocopter um, so these are for like reference referencing it's pretty goddamn cool man these have got like uh information for lights it seem to be like little clear see-through lights can see that on camera very, very clearly but can you see that i think it's made by wave so you get like these cool photographs which i presume kato san did the final paint job on this you get some decals 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 let's have a look at these I haven't really opened this since I bought it. That's the decal set you've got there. Quite a big sheet. There's loads of stuff to be cracking on with there. Loads of different options and stuff. Warning signs, lettering, different uh, typography. The Max Snowman symbols, a kangaroo, some Japanese there. Very cool. You get two collector sheets for your files. Um, there are different, obviously, um, kind of designs that you can go with. Uh, I think there's one, two, three, four, five. You can pick and choose, or you can obviously do your own. But it's quite unique to get these clear uh sorry not clear files file uh info cards because i don't think many people have got these like i said i haven't seen many people with this kit oh wow right so just quickly it's easy for me just to take the box to the side because it's too much uh it's will be bad focus but this is what you get inside guys cool right let, where should we start with this kit all the, some of the, oh, it's, this is actually a uh, styrene. I presume this is the uh, front canopy section. Oh, something missing out of there. What's that? Uh, you get some wires. I presume these are from Wave. 
some vinyl tubing. I think, yeah, these are resin, though. That's... That, to me, feels like styrene. But I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. It is resin. I'm sure it's resin. It has to be. Sorry, guys. I made a blunder there. Thrusters. You got some more detail parts up here. Be for the engine block. Sorry, my stomach's growling. I'm hungry, guys. But yeah, like very infamous shield plate insides there. All comes in black resin. You get two plastic tubing i don't know what that tubing's for i'll have to check i don't think these are um wait a second i have to check this on the instructions i found when i remember when i looked at this the first time uh that was it that uh, that was it this is what i find really weird about this kit it's a little bit strange because this section here you have to fucking bend these. I mean, I have plenty of these tubes anyway. If 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 I did make this cut off, whatever, you know, you're, you're supposed to bend it. I presume you need you need to like add some heat on there or something like that. And these must these parts must be on the outer ring. Somewhere like that. So that could be not tricky, but like you need to get the uh, bends correctly, right? Interesting. God, my stomach's growling like crazy. I don't know what these are. Oh, these are like uh, clear lenses. So this little packet. Ah, cool. Metal, uh, metal part detail up there. Oh, what's that? I forgot that company name now. There is a company in Japan that does the all these me metallic parts, and I know what what he's used for that. But I forgot the name of the company, but yeah, these are like clear parts, lenses of some description. Uh, these bits. Try to figure out what those those pipes are. Ah, there must be these. Those pipes must be here, I think. Surely. But this seems to be the outer outer rigging that goes around the edge, around here. Very solid, actually. Very nicely molded. As it should be for the amount of money that I've paid for this. Um, what the hell is that? God, that's a that's really heavy. Is that like the base? Let's wait a minute, guys. Uh yeah, this is basically like the bottom of the the pigeon. That part there. It's quite a hefty bit of resin, actually. Hefty part. Uh, very intricate, small part. It looks a bit fiddly. Got the wheels. And I was talking about those wave <laughs> parts, which is kind of interesting because, which is actually good value for money because, you know, you only need a few of those wave parts on there, right? But um, yeah, I'll tell you what is missing, guys. 
This is very strange. It's the pilot. Where the hell is the pilot? I found this part, random tubes, but I can't find the pilot. It's not in the box. Could it be in one of those bags? But yeah, for for the price, I think it's a decent kit. Um, a little bit expensive. Um, as you can see, you've got um, grade up parts there for the antennas and stuff. Uh, there's loads of options you could do here. You could have this maybe flying um, on a diorama. You know, there's so many cool ideas you can um, have for this kit. But yeah, it looks cool. I like it. So anyway, guys, that was a quick unboxing of the uh, Rainbow Egg Scout Flea Prototype Pigeon. Um, I've got many more reviews to do, so thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you've got any questions. And I'll be doing many more of these reviews. Take care, guys. TMD out. Peace.